Hi. So this video is going to be just a uh, ramble, mumble, bumble, and me just talking about stuff and probably specifically relationships. I don't really have a point right now. So if you're like, oh, okay, this is going to be all over the place. You don't have to watch it. Bye. But for those that are staying, because I'm here, I'm talking. Um, yeah, you know, like recently you have seen my videos probably talking about, you know, me doing the uh, massages and learning about myself and everything else. And I've been giving like a lot of attention to self-awareness and self-control and, you know, like growing as a person. But probably the biggest thing is to allow a lot of contradicting opinions to coexist and be completely okay with it. So I know like I was okay with people, let's just say, not buying into the same stuff that I am believing in, or let's, um, for example, like, oh, a big thing is for some people, COVID, take a vaccine or don't take a vaccine, or let's say the whole transgender, LGBT kind of thing, you know, which side are you going to take? And then Black Lives Matter, and just pick any bigger, I wouldn't say bigger topic, but an event or a hot little subject at the moment. And everyone's going to have an opinion about it. And I've been like, in the past, I would assume I was doing pretty good with allowing a lot of those opinions to exist, trying not to judge it and all. But now I have a chance of dealing with a lot of people in my day-to-day -day life. And I get to listen. I get to listen about their lives, their politics, their, you know ideologies and how they view relationships, how they view people and everything around it. And for me, I know like, hey, I'm very comfortable with what I believe in. It doesn't mean that I am right. It is subjective. But for now, what I believe in is my, let's say, fundamentals. It keeps everything very basic, very sturdy. And I, I kind of like, I like it so far. And I'm exploring, I'm trying to learn as much as possible, but at the same time, I listen to a lot of people who will have different beliefs, and then I don't have a hard time anymore reacting. Like, let's say there's a whole thing with Ukraine and, and Russia and the whole war and stuff like that, and there's so many people hating. There's so many people hating one side or the other, and then when they talk to you, they want you to pick a side. And if you pick the side that they don't like, they're going to like have a lot of like harsher opinions and then target, you know, so like trying to deal with these conversations, but also finding a way where you can be comfortable in your own shoes, comfortable in your own skin. And for me, it has to start with self-love, all of it, everything. Every single relationship you have in life and how you deal with everything around you. It starts with self-love, for me, at least. And I'm noticing that because a lot of people, you know, like I talked in the previous video, there's that trying to reach out, trying to communicate, possibly having expectations. And depending on what you want and need, if you will not satisfy it for yourself, you're going to want others to fill in that spot. And if they don't, then there's a lot of, disappointment sadness anxiety frustration miscommunication and other things following so like looking at things where you know you can reach you can give but you can also let go and sort of fall back and like you know give it time it's like a dance it's a constant dance where you can try to lead but if it doesn't work it's like you become a bit more submissive and just follow and like okay you're gonna go along and then you can take the lead again and it's like everything in life, you know, like there's a lot of ups and downs. There's a lot of like little thingies to deal with, but at the same time, you might have good days and learning to sort of keep the balance in between. For me, the biggest thing is learning self-love and practicing it. And I think like I found a spot where for the last three weeks or it's been about a month, I would say, I've been super happy. And maintaining this level of happiness for me is unusual because I know like I've had days where, you know, like, hey, things can be right, but there can also be triggers. There, there's going to be some reactions and there's trying, trying to deal with troubles. And now 
there can be like a lot of things happening, like this storm outside of you, but you react to it with this calmness, like it's just a storm and you see it for what it is, but you don't see it as something that you're going to label good, bad, right, wrong. And it's kind of like in a way, stepping outside of that duality where people will hear a word like Bill Gates, Elon Musk, war ukraine russia let's say sex or chocolate or black or white or kinks and you know like trigger words and people by hearing something will have a story about it they will have triggers they will have emotions they will have feelings and then it's just what you tell yourself is how you perceive things but can we really see a thing for what it is without trying to say good, bad, right, wrong, and judging it? Can we just look at it, be aware of it, acknowledge it, and then be done? And so, like, for me, I've been learning that. I've been learning to try to self-control and also not take sides, not take judgment, not take, like, oh, well, this is the thing, and then tell it myself a story about it. Just, like, okay, it's it's this. And and I'm I'm still talking very vaguely and in generalities, I would say. But at the same time, I think this subject should be addressed separately, deeper, where we could go into details on why and how and everything else. And I'm still not a pro at it, but I noticed just this month, trying to live without judgment and trying to live with self-control not like I'm going to have a leash on myself and like really hold myself like hard, but in a way where my self-control and what I'm talking about specifically is when something happens around me, I have to watch how I react to it. And if the reaction is somewhat negative, then it means I wanted and or needed something else, expectations, wants, needs, and then if that's not met, then I go into a different level of, you know, like reacting to it, maybe becoming angry, maybe becoming anxious, maybe becoming fearful and frustrated. And I wouldn't say this month was like super duper amazing in a way where, oh, nothing can hurt me. Like I noticed myself getting those little reactions, like we're like maybe a little bit of fear of rejection. Maybe a little bit of that, like, oh, did I do something bad? And then, like, looking within and then, like, maybe judging myself a bit too much. But also, like, catching myself, like, oh, wait, I shouldn't do that. I shouldn't judge myself. And then learning to, let's just say, notice the feeling you have and then ask, why do you feel this way? Why do you have this anxiety? Why do you have this sadness and frustration? If you're feeling this, then something happened to trigger it. What happened? Well, if that happened and you reacted this way, what did you want it in the first place? And you compare scenarios with, you know, like something that you saw as a perfection, maybe, or like your wanted reality, your wanted outcome, and it doesn't happen. And then like looking at all of these scenarios and then analyzing what can you do for yourself? Not have anyone else meet those needs or please you. Of course, it would be great. But how can we do all of that for ourselves? And like recently has been my biggest drive, like that self-control and awareness and also like finding ways where I can do things for myself. And it's little ones. And, you know, like a lot of that is like reading and learning and getting a better understanding. But at the same time, it's like, Stop trying to control people. It's the biggest one. And then I know like a lot of us might even want to have, you know, like various relationships. We might want to have certain feedback or get something. Like we have a relationship, we put in a lot of effort and then we might expect something back. Whether it is, you know, us being acknowledged, where it is getting a message and just like, you know, like where it is good night, I love you or thank you or something or being noticed and someone like you're like really noticing your efforts now, if we don't get a lot of those thingies and of course, each and every one of us were like individual, we're different, our needs and wants and expectations will be, you know, like all over the place. But for yourself, you have to like, or you could be, try to become more aware and have more definition to sort of like see a bigger picture. And then as you analyze yourself, just find ways to 
please yourself. Find ways to meet those needs. And anyway, um, I've talked about it previously, and I'm pretty much like repeating myself. But it's big, be- like I don't know. It's becoming like quite important to me, just because I get to deal with a lot of people in in person, and that's different. Like Aaronness is one thing. Aaron, I just like, you can see comments, you can see emails and everything. You can respond and then let go or, you know, like just like a lot of different reactions, but life in person where in a way there is no escape. You have to confront the person. You have to deal with them and learning that, you know, for me personally, I'm going with giving just that whole six basic human needs, give, give, give in a way like, do they need certainty? Like, do you need to like showing up there once a week or then like the person knows that when you come, you're going to do this, you're going to say this. So you give them that, you know, like foundation, but then being, you know, like there's that uncertainty or more like variety. So surprises, inspiring, like uh, too much. When, when you surprise someone too much, it's like, whoa, like it's didn't expect that, didn't like it. But, you know, if you don't push them too much out of their comfort zone, yet you are able to surprise them and they like it like you know like there's like a lot of little details but i've been following that and i was like my relationships are getting better but at at the same time before i please everyone else around me or not even please just try to give them the best life possible you know like a lot of people who have experienced pain they know how bad it is and they don't really want others to go through it which is why you know we try to work on ourselves as much as possible and then be kind to others and of course that kindness is not always going to be met with arms wide open and you know you might even like do your best and still catch hell for it but if you can work on yourself to the level where you meet your own needs and you know for for you for yourself would have to define it and for me certainty like i know i'm gonna have somewhat of a routine i'm gonna know that when I come back home, this is what's going to happen. I have my safe ground. I have certain people I'm going to meet and talk to. And I know I'm going to feel this way when that happens. So like that is very important to me. But also like that connection and love is like for me, the second biggest thing. It's like people I'm going to connect with, people I'm going to talk to, like getting those meets met from getting those meets met for me is super important because like, like let's say those two are the most important. Everything else you know, like it can happen, it cannot, but then the whole self-growth contribution, like let's say right now, making a video, maybe, maybe just one person needs to hear this message. Maybe one person will listen to all of my videos or one of them or something. And one sentence I say can impact their life. That's all that matters to me. Just touching and reaching one person. And that's all like starting a domino effect that way. And all self-growth and everything else. So there's like a lot of those little thingies, but once you know what you need the most, and if you're able to help yourself with that, your life is going to become amazing. Because no matter what everyone else around you will do, if you feel good about yourself, and if you are able to meet those needs, other things cannot really impact you. And I noticed like, we talk about, let's say, entities and a lot of, let's say, Murphy's Law following you around and like being an unlucky person. When everything like that happens, but you feel good about yourself, it ain't going to hurt you. You're not going to react. Like literally, I, I bought a guitar for myself and I love it so much. And my dog broke it. And I'm like, I just laughed about it. I then like, well, the dog just like, oops, slipped and everything else. But like, there's been tons of little accidents and thingies where um, it should have triggered me. It should have like made me pissed off and it should have had me to react to it. But I was like so happy with myself and I'm not perfect. I'm not a guru. I'm not like a know-it-all. I'm just like, wow, I like myself. And I know I have a whole lot to learn and grow and get better at, but I like myself. And... I think one of the bigger things for me is that in the last few weeks, I noticed that instead of fighting for my life and trying to survive, instead of living in that masculine, like, I need to survive, I need to fight back, I need to prove myself and everything else, I was able to take care of my needs that I can finally be more feminine. I can finally be myself. I can finally be more gentle. I can finally be like, wow, I like this. I had no idea that I can be feminine and I'm not like the most amazing person or anything but I'm very 
I'm starting to become very comfortable in my own skin. And it's it's amazing. So learning to be like vulnerable, but also, you know, like just go with who you are and be okay with it. Be okay with showing a little bit of that crazy side of you, a little bit of weirdness, whether others like it or not, but you being able to express it is so important because I don't know, like for me, like I've been wearing masks my whole life. I've been trying to fit in and pretend to be someone I'm not. And now like I've been tearing them off one after another. And finally, like, this is me and I'm going to show myself to the world. And getting to this point is just so satisfying and far from perfection, far from being the best example in the world and all, but I'm so happy. So I think if like the biggest thing is learning to love yourself, whatever you do, whether it's like you're going to work out, you might lose some weight, you might get in a better shape. Like I did it for myself. I like, I like myself much better that way. Um, but also like, the biggest thing is just to be able to be myself, to be able to talk about the topics I want to talk about, not just on the internet, but around people that will consider me crazy and be completely okay with thought crazy. And I'm just like, hey, this is me. This is who I am. And I'm finally, I don't know, like feeling really good about it. You know, there's, I used to have fears. I, I don't know if I still do, but I used to have fears that let's say classmates or coworkers or people that I work with in certain groups on certain projects will find out about my YouTube, will find out about the crazy side of me. And then they're going to think stuff. And I, and I could not allow myself to have the freedom where they would find it or not. I, like it, it was like very limiting. And I'm finally getting to the place where, look at me, this is who I am. And I am happy with it. So like this, this is just like, I don't know, <laughs> exhilarating and all. So yeah, if, if you can reach that place in life, I think this would bring you so much happiness or much more content. And smallest things in life can make you super happy. And a lot of incidents or things that were triggering you in the past ain't going to hurt you no more at all. Because... It's not like you have built up that rough skin that can withstand it all and be like iron hard and everything else. No, like you see things for what they are without judging it and being able to accept it and not like be okay with the bad, be okay with the wrong, be okay with the judgment and everything else, but finding content within yourself where you don't need anyone else to meet those needs for you. And then... You just don't react to it anymore because you're okay with yourself. So I'm learning to love myself more, far from being really good at it. But I'm like, wow, I am looking at what I've been doing in the last month. And I might go into more details if anyone's interested. But like, I can't remember myself being this happy or feeling so good for such a long period of time. And not really reacting to a lot of things outside of me. So like, this is abundance. It's not having too much, like, not like I'm rich or anything. Not like I'm, I have everything I want in the world. But abundance of who I am, how I react to things and all. And it's just like, feeling really good right now. So yeah, and we get to wrap it up. Thanks for watching. And I hope I can give you anything of quality, anything that can make your life better. And if you have any questions and stuff that you think you would like me to get more specific about, give more, like talk about more details and all, I'm, I'm out for it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.